to another video. Today's video is inspired by another video done by Joelle over at Fluffy Kawaii Joe, where she does a whole video about trying to buy Lolita from Wish without being Ida. So I thought I would take that same challenge upon myself and to see what I could come up with. When I was browsing through the website, I noticed that there were a ton of different replicas and stolen stock images, which I fully expected to be there on that website. However, I did not expect to also find a bunch of things that you could commonly find on Taobao or AliExpress. So to play it safe, I went ahead and bought myself two dresses with matching headwear that are things that I could find on AliExpress or Taobao just because I didn't want to buy myself a replica or any sort of complete ripoff of another design. And let's get started. Let's review the things that I bought. The first thing I bought was a set which came with a jumper skirt and a headpiece. The headpiece is a traditional very old school Lolita headdress. Um, this was lovingly referred to as the maxi pad headdress, um, sanitary napkin headdress, all of those fun names. Um, so first impression is it looks eh? It looks so eh? I'm not happy or inspired <laughs> when I look at this. Um, from the side that goes out, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, the lace itself is not horrible. It's a crochet lace, um, but it's really it's a really big crochet lace. Um, I went with a burgundy maroon red for this piece. Um, it's got little crisscross ribbons, which is a pretty traditional, predictable, classic headpiece look with these little like eyelet lace. Um, the eyelet lace is actually surprisingly nice. It's just a not terribly scratchy embroidered lace. Um, however, the inside is definitely kind of, kind of rough. Um, the quality is, it looks like somebody really rushed it when they did it. Um, I'll do some close-ups here where you can see the construction quality is just not, not the best. Um, some very uneven seam lines and unintentional, just kind of haphazard sewing here. The other thing I would like to note is the strings that you're supposed to tie it on your head are really, 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 really long. Just, just keep going. <laughs> Up next in the set is a jumper skirt. Um, this is a pretty basic old school Lolita jumper skirt. Again, in that wine red, dark red, burgundy red shades of red. Red. Uh, the bodice is pretty simple. It's got these stretchy uh, straps, which I believe could probably accommodate quite a few sizes. And in the front it has this corset lacing detail and really long neck straps. Um, the quality on this is about the same level as the headdress. Um, and then it has this pretty basic skirt design. Um, so the things that stand out to me right away are that all of the ribbons on every detail are just incredibly long, um, which is probably better than them being incredibly short as you can just trim them as needed. Um, they use that same crochet lace on the dress, which on the dress looks a little bit better because it's a bigger piece and it could definitely accommodate that wider lace. Um, as far as the garment construction, it's the bodice is kind of weird. So you can see here on the front, 
that they actually, instead of a straight cut bodice like most Lolita dresses have, it has this little dart seam here, probably to accommodate the female body shape. Um, but it looks really awkwardly placed. Um, so hopefully that will be a little bit better when worn. Um, as far as the back of the dress, it has these very skinny waist ties, um, loose threads everywhere, but for a wish dress that cost me, I want to say $24, I really can't be complaining that much. Um, something to be noted is the garment construction. There is um, unfinished seams. I don't know if you can see that here, but these are, they are overlocked, but not very well. And there's lots of seams here where you can see that this dress was very, very rushed to be put together. Um, it does have a tag inside. The tag is in, I believe it's tie. I could be wrong, please. Forgive me if I'm ignorant here, um, so I can't actually read what the tag says. Uh, but that is the dress overall. It's uh, it's whelming. I'm neither overwhelmed nor underwhelmed. I'm just just whelmed. Okay, that brings us to dress number two, which is a simple pink dress that I found. Um, I bought both of these dresses from the same seller, hoping that the quality would be a little bit better if I brought if I bought from the same seller that had semi legit looking photos. Uh, this one came with a tag and it says Lolita Princess, um, not a brand I've ever heard of, but Taobao has a lot of hidden gems and treasures that some of us haven't experienced yet. Uh, unlike the other dress, this one actually comes with a, it's lined, which is, I'd say it's a plus, um, as this is a light colored piece. The fabric is pretty lightweight. It's significantly softer than the last piece. Um, general first impression, it's significantly nicer than the last piece, despite costing the same amount of money, if not similar. Uh, so nothing too crazy going on with this dress, just some ruffling and pin tuck details here on the skirt. The back has a nice partial shearing and the front, very simple again in the front, just some pin tucks, some ruffles, and just a little bit of lace here. The lace is actually nice and soft, which is good. Um, I bought this in a size large based off of the uh, measurements in the sizing chart. And to go with this from same seller but different listing, is a head bow and this is how it came. Came in two pieces. Um, first impression of the head bow, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the lace that is around the edge reminds me of older body line lace. It's kind of shiny but still soft so not terrible, not great, but it'll do, and so you would probably just take this headband and just kind of slide it through here to put the headbow together. Um, it was packaged in a very tiny package, so I didn't actually know what it was until it came in the mail and I opened it. But So there is that assembled. Um, a little floppy as it wasn't assembled or sewn together. It was in two separate pieces, but overall I'm, I'm actually decently pleased with the pink uh, jumper skirt and head bow. 
So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and try on both sets and give you my final thoughts and opinions on purchasing any sort of Lolita from Wish. All right, so what did you think? Did you like the red set or the pink set? Uh, I personally actually really enjoy the pink set. Um, overall, the quality is probably maybe a B to a B plus um, is how I would grade that. The material is lightweight, but not terribly cheap feeling. It's nice and soft. And I would actually wear this dress somewhere, it may be to a casual meetup or out to get coffee or tea, um, but not, not high tea, just, just maybe boba tea. It's a, it's a boba tea dress. Overall, um, the experience was decent. Uh, Wish's customer service is pretty great. Um, however, I definitely would not recommend Purchasing Wish, if you have never purchased Lolita before, if you are new to Lolita, if you have not successfully put together at least maybe five coordinates, um, if you are new or a newbie or still somewhat of a beginner, I would highly recommend to stay away from Wish. A lot of the pictures are really deceiving and you just may not end up with what you think you're getting. I 
I got pretty lucky in that one of the dresses and headpieces I got were pretty good and wearable, whereas the red dress and headdress, while I really love the color of them, the overall quality just isn't there. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Have the best week, and I'll see you then. Bye!